Okay, we got a little bit of out with the old and in with the new going on here. Um, windshield wiper. It's, uh, the motor on these is controlled by vacuum. And uh, the blower doesn't like vacuum. So in this configuration, it's just not going to work. Uh, there's your switch right there. I applied some vacuum to this and I couldn't get it to do anything. I went out and got me an electric conversion because I'm not messing with this thing. I'm just going to figure out how to get it out of here. Like just some straight screws. So you just got these little screws in there. Guess I got to pull the wiper arm off too, huh? Well, these just got a little locking tab. Make them up real easy. So to get your wiper off, you just push in this little tab right here and pull it off straight. So the arm is good, springs okay-ish. It'll do, needs a new wiper, mind you. We won't be testing that right away. Okay, then you got the little chrome cover and nut that sits on there. Yeah, that's always a trick of getting stuff like that out without smashing your window out by accident. All right, where are the rest of my screws? Oh, don't have to pull that vent to get at that one. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. Thing I spray everything with WD 40 months ago. <laughs> you gotta appreciate the simplicity, you know? Like, stuff today, so much computers and actuators and sensors. And, yeah, you can't even drive until it lets you. Heaven forbid you should start your car with a foot on the brake. I found a church key in the, in the vent and some dead things. Got a little bit of hose still on there. Somebody was drinking and driving. Uh, who am I kidding? Back then they had Cokes where you needed a church key to get them off. We'll keep that. Just as I figured. Right behind that vent was the other screw. Think I need a shorter screwdriver. It's not going to cut it. All I need here is a little stubby. So there's your vacuum motor. So I would be remiss if I didn't show you what's going on in here. So there's your bracket that I just unbolted that from. So you can see there where I pulled the screws out there and there. I accidentally pulled the wrong one over here. That's why I had to pull three. And the drive shaft for the wiper goes right into that. And that's what cycles your wiper back and forth. The pin here, I believe, is if you have a model with the second wiper arm so you can link them together but uh, this only has one that's all it's ever going to have because the passenger don't need to see if anything they should be closing their eyes and praying <laughs> so apart from the fact that it's a little bigger than the factory one the uh wiring is all done for you there's your wiring harness it's got the new switch hooked up here literally all you need to do is add power because it grounds out on its own to the body so pretty slick the way they did that no messing around with that crap i don't know how the heck i'm supposed to get that screw <laughs> okay so to get access to this hole you have to loosen this nut and bolt well screw and bolt and then you got a channel here where you can adjust it so now you have access to that other bolt hole can't help but think there, might, there would have been an easier way to do that with a little bit of design, but eh, whatever. Whatever works, man. Huh. So that right there is a piece that goes up through the cowl. This is a wiper mounts to it. You can see here where the motor fits in. Well, in my case, doesn't want to fit in. Yeah, that definitely does not fit. You got to tell me I got to modify this. Come on, guys. I paid good money here. Okay, so there's our little wing nut looking thingy. Uh, I had to grind the entire thing, but most importantly was right here. This rounded, or this transition to here was rounded. So it stuck out quite a bit. I had to take this in a little narrower here, and then the whole circumference around the round part to get it to fit. Uh, as well, that little Allen head lock screw doesn't go in far enough to be flush, so it needed to be crowned as well. 
So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's in there now. There's a second lock screw right there. Uh, there's no flat spot on the shaft for it, but that one goes in plenty far. But this one here needed to be ground flush. There's the bracket that it's got to go into. Now it goes in. So you can see how it screws in. The bottom ones there are the rubber ones that mount it to the truck. Okay, so it goes on like so. That one there, we had to move the motor down to get at, so we'll have to tighten that up when we're done, I guess. Got a lot of work just to put in a little electric wiper. I thought, I thought it was going to be easy when I saw there was only two screws, but no such luck. Not my world, anyway. Where's my headrest? Come on there, B&M. Oh, that's right there. Oh, yeah, baby. There's Stubby. I need Stubby. 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 Yeah, stubby screwdrivers. You never use them until you gotta use them. So there's our bracket back in. Okay, so she's all screwed in now, good and tight. We can put the motor back up and tighten that screw down. In retrospect, I should have reversed that nut and bolt there. Put the screw head on the, this side and the nut on the other side. Would have been something I could have dealt with a lot easier. Oh, that sharp corner of that trans tunnel is digging into my back. I'm good. Well, that ain't going anywhere. Now, all we need to do is mount the switch. So, yeah, just a little straight lock screw here to lock the knob in. Nothing fancy there. I'm going to put that through and deal with this little excess of wire here. Huh. Now, that's interesting. Where is the screw that holds the motor to the bracket? We're going to be putting that in the smart way instead of the way they had it. Okay, let's try to mount our switch. So you got to have the motor down to put the switch in. I wonder how intentionally Universal, they need this because that switch is hitting the motor. All right, that'll work. Now you can put the screw in the right way with the nut on the back, the way it should have been in the first place. Come on, Luke, use the force. That's not good. I would have just lightsaber myself. That'll work, baby. Woo! Okay, so we got our switch in. Just want to get the orientation down here. All I did there was turn the switch so that my wiper knob actually the right way. Now we've got our wiper faces the way I want it to. Now we can go ahead and tighten that little screw up. There we go. So we got off, low, high. Good enough for government work. So all we need to do is hook up a power, and that should work. Clean up our wiring here a bit. Get it out of the way. I don't know why there's so many wires. This is one of them painless wiring kits. I think it's a generic one. So many wires. Why is there a flasher of eight feet of wire out here? And there's a flasher right there. Well, I have a second flasher. So we'll figure that one out. And so yeah, most of this is going to be lights. Way more here than this truck needs to run. It just never ends. Everything I grab is more wire. Trunk, flasher. Okay, so turn, flasher. Well, it's nice up there. Label, negative, fan, rear something. Brown to rear. Oh, that's helpful. Honestly, I prefer to just wire this thing up myself from scratch, but uh, we'll try and make this work. Depends on how frustrated I get and how long it takes me to bring out the wire cutter. This is way more wires than this truck needs. It feels like I'm working on a, something from the 80s, not something from the 50s. I can hook up a power and try it right now, but as you can see, I'm nowhere even close to having power to wire things like that yet. Anyway, so there's your uh, conversion kit going from vacuum wiper motor to electric. Uh, pretty straightforward, other than a few things that had to be tweaked 
to fit properly. Uh, I imagine it's kind of a generic thing, you're trying to make it so it spans a whole series of generations of trucks. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Really the only thing that was irritating was the uh, that aluminum piece that goes into the factory bracket there. And other than that, it was pretty straightforward. I mean, it'd be a little bit harder if you had your gauges in the way and seats and everything else, but this is why I chose to do it when I did it.